All right, so here is the Android head unit, the Deseda. See, it's a 10 inch screen. And here is all the accessories. I'll do a full unboxing here and we can check it out. All right, so here is how I've been, they contacted me. I've talked to Deseda before, but they sent me an email out of the blue and they said they've seen my videos from their Deseda head unit and they had a, a new ease version of the Jeep Franklin radio and they asked me if I wanted to take a look at it. So it should be this one here, but you can see the specs. It's the Max 10 unit, Android 10, uh, four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of memory, probably our storage in general, uh, six core, blah, 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 PX6, now, which is faster than the previous PX5 that I've used. Has the built-in DSP, I haven't tried that yet. 15 band EQ and it has an HDMI out port. So later in the video, you'll see where there's an HDMI and I'm not sure what it is. So this is an HDMI out and I'll show that in a later video. They post their software updates on XDA. So I'll make a separate video on that as well. Now, they sent me the Canadian link for some reason, but you can see if you close to pull the ace in, it should be the same. So it should be this one here on the American version. So $689 on Amazon, you can see. So this should be a PX6, four gigs of RAM, built for the Wrangler. I have a 2016 Wrangler, 10.2 inch screen. Only 720 resolution, but we'll check it out. But anyhow, so check out the unboxing. I'll make a separate video on the install and all that later on. All right, so here is my Deseda new head unit. Still in the box, of course. It's a large box. It's uh, 13 inches high, 23 inches long, 14 inches deep. Box is fairly plain. It comes from China, so it's a weird shipping company. They used to use DHL, but this one says EMS or something. I don't know. Classic Jeep knife. So, and there's a box in a box. HA2158 Max 10. A Wrangler 2015, 2016. I have a 2016 Jeep Wrangler. It does say 5.1 sub. I do not have these subs. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. And here it says AW HARS something or other. All right, the box inside seems pretty well protected. A little thank you note. You know, pretty hefty bone here to keep it from getting smashed. Pretty well packaged. There's bubble wrap. It kind of fits in here like a jigsaw puzzle. So right up top we have this piece. This will connect to the head unit and this will plug into the existing Jeep wiring. There's a sticker on here. It says Jeep Wrangler high power cable. And here, I believe is different than the ones I've had in the past. Now, I've had a lot of Android head units in the past, but I have not had one in over a year. I've been using a Pioneer, but I'm interested to get back and trying these bad boys out. Oh, this is nice. Car without amplifier, please change this plug. So they finally wised up, I see. So if you have the amplified version, like if you have the factory Alpine, and then you swap this guy over here. Now that's pretty nice. Assuming that works. This will be like the CAN bus adapter. It's like in the past I've shown using a pack or something to rewire it. If you have this, it should automatically work with the Jeep steering wheel controls. There's a huge bundle of wiring. This I believe is the Wi-Fi antenna. It's the GPS adapter. Here's a bundle of wires to go to RCA cables for like a subwoofer. I don't have the Alpine system. I do have an aftermarket NBX system. So I will be using these this time. That'll be the first time. I'll be using these with an Android head unit. Now, this is extra stuff for a camera or an auxiliary input. So if you wanted to run something in, I don't use this normally, I don't think. And this is just an extra USB port. And here, also two more USB ports. I don't know why one's purple and one's white. I don't know if there's any difference between the gray one versus that. It says RCA cable B line. I don't know what that means really. And this little guy is the microphone for phone calls. This guy goes into the Jeep dash itself. So the head unit piece will attach here. So it'll take, cause on the Jeep, that whole plastic piece is one part. So you pull that whole thing out and you'll replace it with this one. You have to put those little white clips on here. I usually order extra because you know, I lose some in the transition and they're pretty cheap. And then this part goes on top for us where your existing one is part of the existing dash. It comes with a little manual and it says, quality control pass. This is a uh, fancier manual than I had in the, in the past before, so. Oh yeah, it even tells you to, yeah, this is much more detailed than they used to be. So this should be Android 9.0. We'll see, there might be some updates uh, once I get installed. We'll see about that. The EQ setting and DSP, we'll see how that works. I'll test all that out. So there is the actual head unit. You can see, you know, this is where your, steer your windows controls go, your air conditioner vents. There'll be an internal mic here, or you can use that plug-in mic 
the plug-in mic will generally sound better. Uh, power button, home button, back button, volume button. And your steering wheel control should work, of course. Uh, up top, they generally label where all these settings go, so that way you know where to plug things in. Generally, the plugs only fit in a certain direction anyhow. Like, I'm pretty sure that one only fits here, or actually here. And, but it would tell you, so it says, that would be B. So B says USB cable, and this is a USB cable. And here is a little fuse. That's where the Wi-Fi antenna will go. So like I said, you'll just screw this on here. And generally what I do is connect a, I make a hotspot from my phone and then use that for Wi-Fi in the vehicle. That should be fine. Oh, there's a spot, maybe. There's a micro SD card here, a 16 gig one. Look at that. These used to be generic eight gigs. This would be a 16 gig one. It actually says to say that they've stepped their game up since I've been away. That's pretty good. I still won't use theirs. I'll take that out and I'll put my own SD card in there. If you have like the paid version of Spotify, you should be able to download your music to it, which is what I do. Or you could put other stuff there, of course, regular music, but I use Spotify. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. And since it's here, yeah, so it'll still be accessible even when the device is fully plugged in and in fully installed. In the past, they had it down here and you really couldn't get to it unless you took the whole dash out. So this is a better design. And yeah, there's another model number again, AWHARS0332. So again, they sent this to me, but this should be the same model that's on Amazon. And there's an HDMI out. So that's pretty good. That's new, that didn't used to be there. Oh, that's real nice. I'll be able to run an HDMI out, I believe to a separate, hopefully it's out, let me see. Well, it doesn't really say on here. That's where your microphone plugs in. That's where your GPS goes. I'll have an adapter that goes from here to, to use the Jeep's existing wire and to use my existing GPS as opposed to using their one. It's also, you can see it's nice and small. It's only four inches deep, so my friend Tony should like that. It's only two inches tall, four inches deep, and seven inches wide. So there's plenty of room for all the wires to fit. Sometimes with Jeeps, you know, depending on how much wire you have, it's hard to fit all that back there, but this should make it plenty easy. And of course, it's a nice 10 inch diagonal screen here. All right, so here is everything. You can see here's the head unit, here's the dash, that's how it pieces in, right? And then this guy will just drop it up top here. Comes all the wiring you need. This will be your antenna for your HD, your regular over the air radio. This is the CAN bus adapter and this plugs into the Jeep wiring. So if you don't have, it should be plug and play and in theory with this, it should work with the Alpine as well. I don't have the Alpine, so I can't test that. My brother-in-law used to be sold that Jeep, so I don't have any way to test it but I will test it with my regular stereo. And these cables, of course, auxiliaries, subwoofer, RCAs. There should be a camera input somewhere, or a camera output, so you should build it. I have an aftermarket camera, so that should work. GPS, three USB ports, and a microphone, and a 16 gig SD card. And of course, this one has the HDMI, I believe, out. I mean, it could be in, but we'll find out when I get it set up. All right, that's all we got. Thanks for checking me out.